Hey everybody, welcome back to the Pardon Will Podcast. I'm your host, David Lilly, and this is episode 45. Um, this is a little bit different than what I normally do. Um, I'm flying solo this time, um, and I'll tell you a little bit uh, reason why. So for my regular just audio listeners, <clears throat> again, you've heard me do solo podcasts before. It's nothing nothing new. It's mostly just me ranting for 30 minutes about something I'm thinking about, mixed in with some like whatever Marvel review. Um, but for the video listeners, the ones who are on YouTube and Rumble, checking this out, which if you're just an audio, you're like, oh, it's on YouTube. It's it's new. I just started, um, which is actually the reason why I'm doing this this particular episode right now. Um, I do have some uh, awesome guests coming up in the future this week, actually. And so uh, one of the things that I wanted to do is uh, I want to I want to get my sea legs uh, for this whole thing. And, and by sea legs, I mean, I want to I want to get a little bit more comfortable um, with doing video and, and being able to kind of work with the tech and and troubleshoot and solve any problems um, before I get into the weeds of having really good guests and then something happening. Um, when I first started the podcast, I think like the first three, there was a technical error um, because I was kind of feeling it out. We, we were trying things in uh, techn- technical areas throughout probably like the first 10. I just kind of mitigated those uh, to the best of my ability till I kind of got, till I got the hang of it. And I thought, you know, it'd probably be the best to do the same thing with the with the video and the audio um, of, of doing YouTube and, and Rumble and things like that. Plus, you guys, you kids these days, you love, you love watching stuff, um, not just listening to it. And so um, that's actually what this episode's about. Um, I, I want to talk about the video aspect. I know it sounds boring, but I'm going to go into a lot more. In fact, I'm probably going to be a little bit more candid and honest uh, with you about who I am and, and what are my difficulties and what are the things I struggle with. So it's not just being like, well, here's how to you know right click and here's the audio setting and Here's what to look out for. This isn't an instructional video by any means. This is me um, practicing and, and kind of open up and sharing a little bit about things that I've, hints that I've dropped in the past um, with other podcasts uh, that I've done and, and with guests that I've talked to. <clears throat> and so I think, I think I might name this episode Vanity Vanity. And it's from the uh, scripture in Ecclesiastes, right off the bat, the beginning of the book. Solomon talks about um, vanity, vanity, all things are vanity. It's all futile. It's all, you know, surface level. There's no, no real meaning to these things. And I thought that was kind of, again, the context of that entire book is is not really relatable to this podcast that I think it will be. But um, kind of the point is, is uh, it's it, it's not as um, it's not as, as difficult as I think it might be. I think I've, I've made the whole doing video thing a little bit more difficult in my head than what should have been done um and and one of the reasons why i wanted to do videos because i think i think you kind of get to know a little bit more about uh me listening um and and a little bit more about my guests um and i think it's just like another level you know uh you don't have to watch it on youtube you don't have to watch it on rumble you can just continue to listen to the audio only and that's perfectly fine that's not gonna that's not gonna change anything but um i thought maybe it was that but it also pulls me out of my comfort zone um, and, and so we'll just go and start off right off the bat. Again, this is going to be a rant, um, a little bit about me. So you kind of get to know me a little bit better. Um, but, uh, w- well, one of the reasons why uh, video took me so long is, is I'm not, oddly enough, I'm not uh, a very open person on social media. Um, I, I grew up not really without social media. The first time social media came around was like, Zanga and MySpace um, for for the older ones out there, and and that was something new, and 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 we didn't really know. Well, I didn't really know what to do with it, and so it was kind of interesting. Kind of felt it out, um, <clears throat> but then as the world of social media kind of grew and and, and kind of you know snowballed into what it is now, which is like fifty percent of people's lives are online, if not more. Um, I never clued in on that. Uh, I, I may you know I'm, I have social medias, but I never really figured out how to how to connect to people through social media. So you can go to my Instagram. It's mostly art. There's like two selfies and one of them's not even selfie. It's it's just a professionally taken photo from a a photographer friend of mine. And that's about it. That's all you see in my life. Um, Every once in a while there'll be, you know, something that is artistic and and, and the podcast, you know, Instagram or on Facebook, it's mostly memes or maybe something I'm reading and, or maybe something I shared that I think is important, but uh, you don't really see much of me or my, you know, or, or my family or, or anything that I'm doing. I don't, you know, I don't take pictures of my food or me at, at you know, places. I don't, I'm just not a social media kind of guy, um, which is, this is why it's kind of interesting that I'm doing, 
YouTube videos now because I've never, and I've always made jokes about this being like, well, I don't want to be, you know, a TikTok star or whatever. And and it's not because I'm like, well, I'm better than that. It's just because I, I just don't participate in social media this way. But that might need to change. And so I was reading an article um, not too long ago about businesses that are thriving and, and businesses that aren't. And, and a lot of it has to do with um, faceless businesses, businesses that are just they're there to do what it is. But there's no real personal connection. You don't really know who runs it. And we're seeing a lot of this with like, um, I, I know a lot of my listeners don't care about this, but there's this um, journalistic a company called Project Veritas. And for those who know Project Veritas, like, yeah, I know what the, uh, know what this is. But the main guy who started and ran it, um, his name's James O'Keefe, and, and he's being ousted um, from what I can tell. I don't have any details upon this um, exclusively, but it seems like the business is, is kind of kicking him to the curb a little bit um, for whatever reason. And a lot of people are coming out going like, you can't do that because he is Project Veritas. He is this, this journalistic company. And without him, you don't really have anything and it made me really start thinking about like well you know even business in s itself like people are really into branding and i used to hate that word i used to hate the idea of like branding i thought it was like a hipster thing um but really what it's come to realize is is everything you do like my art things like that um and which is a little bit ironic and i'll tell you why in a little bit a lot of it has to do with the people behind the product that you're buying or the thing that you're you're doing or whatever your business thing is um has a lot to do with the people behind that and who run it. And and if you can throw your face on, not your face literally, but um, if you can put in a face to the product, um, it does a lot better. And I think the reason why is people want that personal connection. And I'll tell you why it's a little bit uh, ironic for me to be talking about this right now. Um, and I bring up when I first started the podcast in the gallery all the time. So you guys have heard this before. But when I first started, the, again, when I first started the podcast, I had an art gallery. And podcasting was just something I did with my friends before we had like a conspiracy podcast um, and stuff like that. And it was always fun. But um, we used to do uh, gallery showings and, and, you know, we have artists come in and they would present their artwork. And it was just, you know, normally one night event, maybe two nights event, but it wasn't anything like that. And then people will walk around, they get a chance to, to talk to the artists, but they didn't really get to know them. And I thought, you know, what would be cool for the scene? And, and all, this was in Albany, New York. It'd be cool that if you could go to a gallery show and be like, I really love that art. And then you can actually go to the guy and it was the podcast was named differently back then. But you could go there and listen to the artist talk about their work, not just a one on one 15, but actually get to actually get to explain like why I did what I do. Here's where my journey came from. And I just thought that was really interesting. And so it's a bit ironic that I did this without even venturing off into doing YouTube earlier, um, especially because I'm such a visual person. Um, and I think I think it really does boil down to you like I've never I've never put much stock in in so much of thinking about people liked my art because they like me. Um, and I'm not sure what to think about that, uh, because I always thought, you know, hopefully you go to my Instagram, you're not going to see much of me. My Facebook is mostly not much of me. And I've never been uh, open or just trying to to utilize social media the way it was. I, I like the idea that you would go to Instagram and it would be like an art gallery. It's nothing but art. So I was very strategic about what I posted. And I made a few videos in the past um, announcements like okay, starting up the, I mean, there was one recently um, this past summer where I was, you know, telling everybody on my Instagram that I was starting the podcast back up and, and kind of my hopes for the future. And, and one of them was video. I've been planning on this for a while. Um, but there's a, again, there's a few things I'm, I'm, I'm not very open um, with with who whom I am, I just thought maybe it would be better if you could just hear the guests and the conversations. And um, again, it's a bit ironic because the podcast started to become a little bit more of me on there, and uh, and then changing the logo to to my face, and so it's all been kind of boiling up um, from there. Um, but one of the things I wanted to cover, one of the easiest reasons why it took me so long, is because and this is this is kind of where it goes down to the people being comfortable with social media is um, I'm a bit about presentation, if you haven't noticed already. Um, I, I I like that idea. And so even when I would do art shows, I, I really put half the art wasn't just putting up the art, but actually presenting it in a certain way. And um, and it took me a while to kind of get to the point where I, I have to get the studio ready. And, and I wanted it to look right. I wanted it to be, I didn't want you to, 
honestly, I didn't want it to be like, hey, I'm doing a podcast from the front seat of my truck um, as I'm driving or I want to put videos. Out. I, I like the presentation, even while all my old videos were always me in front of my desk and we had a background to look to. Um, maybe because I, I just thought, how uninteresting is my face? Um, it would be more interesting if there was a setting or something felt right. Like, I, I like the idea. It's an aesthetic thing. Um, and also, notice, because a, a lot of people are very confident in their message. And so that number one was I wanted a presentation. There's a lot of work behind that. Um, number two, people are confident in front of the camera. And I don't think I've ever really been that confident in front of a camera, not just video camera, just in cameras in general. And it's not that I think I'm like hideous. I know I'm, I'm not, I'm, I know I'm not like horrifically terrifying. Um, I just didn't, I'm just not in front of a camera thing. It's just not something I was used to. And so when people do like TikTok videos where the, I'm going to expose myself here. Those, those TikTok videos, and I'm pretty sure everyone's seen, where they're just reactions to someone talking, I think is the most ridiculous thing ever. Sorry, anybody out there that, like, this is my jam. I just, I video my face of me reacting to someone else saying something. It's uh, mind-blowing that this is a thing. I still can't figure this part out. Um, but again, I'm, I'm pretty much a boomer in a millennial's body. I don't get it. I, I don't understand it. But... Um, I do understand people are very comfortable. People have been doing videos like this, you know, again, like in the front seat of the truck and they, they got a message so they're just going to put it out there and they probably should be paying attention to the road because they're doing 65 on the highway, but nope, they've got to get that TikTok video in um, because that thought popped into your head or you've been planning it. I don't know. I plan for things for the most part, except for podcasts like this. I just going to go off the cuff. I mean, I make notes, but they're, they're not real notes. Um, but I think that confidence issue and being comfortable in front of the camera played a lot of the part. Um, the other comfortable thing is people are really good with technology. Uh, it took me a minute to get here. Um, I don't even know if this is going to air because it could be messing up right now. I have no idea. Again, with the starting the podcast off and the technical difficulties. Um, so it took me a minute to kind of get feeling comfortable enough to be like, well, if I try this, I don't want it to fail right off the bat. So I want, I want to be, and again, this is why kind of I'm doing this episode and you're like, God, this episode is awfully just ranting. I'm a bit talking to myself on purpose and I'm kind of talking myself through this um, because it's been a, this has actually been a question of mine for a while, why it took me so long um, and why I don't post, uh, you know, things like my face online or do videos very often. Uh, it's not as if I don't have things to say or I don't have, to, you know, I could do it real easy. I just, um, I just, oh, I tell you what, this is this is how I think, I I think this is where it stems from. And so I've had conversations with people before and they're like, you know, I just don't know about, you know, being myself. And I'm like, I don't mind being myself in front of people. I'm, I'm fairly, I think I'm fairly open, but I understand the concept because when I tell people life is like playing poker, especially when it comes to like, you don't, you know, strangers and the internet, especially. Um, and when I say playing poker, it's like, uh, sometimes it's best to keep your cards close to your chest, especially when it comes to business. Sometimes it's not good to come out with like your every waking thought. Um, if you're running a business or you're trying to, you know, reach a large audience, sometimes it's not good to be very specific. Um, and I, and I, I, I totally get that. And I've always said that, like, I, I'm, I'm a man who keeps his cards close to his chest. Now I know a lot of people that just throw their cards on the table. Um, not good poker game. Um, just, just not a good tip. If you're ever playing poker, don't don't show the person next to you your cards. And I think that's where it comes a lot about me being pretty close. This is why this is a big step for me um, doing the whole YouTube thing. Is because I've always been a, a person who kept the cards close to my chest. I'm very, very organized on, on what I put out there because I find uh, who I am and my thing very, uh, I want to say sacred, but I don't think that's it. I just think I'm... Uh, reserved was that the right word uh maybe somebody can comment and be like yeah i know reserved is right or maybe you have a better word for it um stoic maybe but that just sounds like i'm complimenting myself because um that sounds like a really fun word to uh, apply to my identity and my personality but um but the confidence thing has always been uh uh an issue um when it came to that stuff and, and i'll go into that in a little bit later but one of the other things and this is why it's important um, for me to be doing this. I know you're like, this is, this is like 14 year olds have TikTok channels and YouTube channels and they play video games. And why is this such a big deal? 
Um, and I think I think you're kind of right. I think I over blew it. I think I set this whole thing up and, um, because I, I'm all about presentation. But I did realize I had to kind of start somewhere. And even when I was playing music, I had a friend who was a extreme perfectionist and he would never put anything out there unless it was perfectly done. And I used to actually uh, pick on him because when I first started playing guitar, it was on a hand-me-down. Um, when I first started painting, it was on pizza boxes. And I, I would take whatever I had and, and did the best I can um, with what I had because I figured once if I get good at using, you know, if I get good playing guitar um, on a really bad guitar, imagine what it would sound like on a really good one. Um, or if I painted, you know, good paintings on a pizza box, imagine what it would be like to have a fresh canvas in front of me. Um, and I probably should have took that advice as an older me now. Um, but, you know, there's a season for everything. So I'm kind of doing that now, too. I'm, I still look whited out into oblivion. I look like I'm, I might, you know, be frozen or, or something like that. Like, I, I, I'm white as a ghost, but it's just because I haven't figured out lighting yet. And it'll come. But but the other thing with the confidence is, and I've said this, and this is kind of where it gets a little a little personal. I've said this on the podcast before, but I'm kind of reiterate it. Um, I'm a pretty fairly confident person, but only in a very few different things. And so when it comes to stepping out of my boat and doing something new, it's never been very odd. I don't mind taking risks and doing something new, um, unless it really hits on a very uh, a very insecure thing of mine, like starting a gallery wasn't I was nervous about it but I did it and there's a bunch of things in my life where I'm like well, I just want I want to try this out in the pocket I'll just, I'm just gonna do it and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out if it does it does and those things are fine I don't mind that I'm, I'm pretty good at risk taking and, and risk uh, evaluations and kind of figuring out how to how to do this well and you can kind of tell right now because I'm talking uh, you're either listening to me on Apple or Spotify or you're watching me on YouTube and you kind of see me hesitating um, because this is this is kind of difficult for me to kind of think through. Because one of my one of my big insecurities is um is my, is me, um, just me in general. And a lot of my friends and people know. And you could listen to a few podcasts where I bring this up uh, periodically and kind of in passing. But uh, I I I'm a bit self deprecating. I'm quick to put myself down before anybody else can. Um, I, I struggle with being um, an overly confident person in general. Um, I am, comp like I said, I'm very confident in a few things and those things I'm very confident in, but um, I'm not overly a confident person. Uh, and I think it's starting to show like in, in how I'm talking to you right now and, and kind of what I used to think about how to use social media. I think one of the things that actually really bugged me about even doing the podcast, one of the reasons why I think I don't like doing solo ones like this and once in the past is I, I was like, well, you know, is my, does my personality really attract anything other than, you know, I'm really good at having conversations. I, I get that. I'm very confident. I don't mind when I sit down with a stranger and artist, you know, that lives across, you know, the country or the world and ask them questions. That's easy. But what if it's just me? Am I, uh, am I even interesting enough to just listen to rant? Um, like I said, I don't mind ranting if I'm ranting to someone, but in, in ways like this where I'm kind of thinking off the cup and, uh, cuff and, and kind of just uh, exposing myself a little bit more. I'm, sometimes I wonder, I'm like, man, this could be boring. And I think even even tonight, like I'm, I'm recording this and I was like, yeah, I don't know if I want to save this. I think it's just good practice for me to kind of get used to looking at my face and, and making sure all the sound quality works. But part of it is, um, man, I, I don't know how interesting this is to you. Um, to me, it's interesting, but of course, it's me talking. You know, hearing my own voice is not terrible. But I don't know if I'm a terribly interesting person. I think I think I might be underselling myself because I'm self-deprecating often. Um, but I I don't know if a lot of people struggle with that uh, this particular confidence issue. And uh, I've 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 struggled with it quite often throughout my life. Um, I'm very confident in what I can do with my hands, but I'm not. And I think that's kind of where it boils down. Again, I'm just kind of speaking from the heart and off the cuff here. I think I'm very confident in what my abilities are. I might not be as confident in who I am. Um, mic drop. That might be a thing. I, I think I might. I think I might be able to convince myself otherwise if I think hard enough about it. I don't shy away from uh, doing a lot of things that involve my personality. I've, spoken on stage and, and spoken in front of a ton of people and um 
and, and that's I've always never been afraid of the stage, never been afraid of being in front of things like that. But um, normally it's well planned and it's short lived. Uh, and me being a bit of an ex introvert and not so much an extrovert, it takes a lot of energy. Um, even doing podcasts like this, I know it seems like I'm, I'm this is this is my jam. I'm, and I am fairly comfortable on doing most podcasts with guests, but doing stuff like this, um, you, you didn't. You, you can't, I mean, maybe you can see, but you don't see the anxiety that I actually sat in this chair for like 20 minutes thinking about this before I even hit record. Because it's it's an anxiety thing for me. Um, because I do wonder about my personality. I do wonder if I've, and I'm not fishing for, I'm not, I'm just trying to be honest with you. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I definitely don't need comments, um, good or bad. Um, flattery is the tool of the devil. So if you compliment me too much, um, actually, this might be a part of my confidence. If you compliment me too much, I get suspicious. Um, so people who compliment me, um, I take it with a, take it in stride. And then if it's overly done, then I start to go with something you want out of me. So uh, you comment what you will, um, but don't don't overly uh, <laughs> compliment me if, if you think I'm fishing for something out of this. Um, I'm not. Again, just practice, just trying to get used to being on camera and, and get used to talking to myself because um, I, I need this. I, I think I need to practice this. Um, it's probably a terrible YouTube episode to put out. This is not, this is like a therapy session or something, but um, I need to do it. It's it's probably part of uh, getting used to this and, and, and maybe allowing my personality to bleed through even just rants like this. It might just be important um, for me. Maybe not you. You could cut this off. Uh, no one could listen to this and that's totally fine with me again this is just just me trying to hash things out <clears throat> um but yeah i think i think the confidence thing has always been an issue of mine and i've started to do some so this is a little bit more encouraging for people out there um I, i've i've been thinking about the confidence thing for a while now because i knew i was doing the whole video thing and eventually um heads up with the podcast i'd like to start doing live ones i'd like to do even solo episodes once a week like i'm doing now just pick a topic and 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 you know rant on it or whatever um just kind of again keep uh keep the muscle memory alive of, of doing these things regardless if anyone listens to them or watches them or not um i think i might want to do a weekly but i would like to eventually do live and i have friends who are like yeah the first video i put out was live well, what's the big deal i'm like God, that's crazy to me i've been on live streams before but again a lot of anxiety uh and it wasn't from the front seat or me walking briskly through a park while ranting about politics. I don't. I, this is this is a whole new realm for me. You guys are, you guys are um, way beyond uh, your your confidence level, or at least whatever it is. I'm not even sure what it is that that allows people to just be like, well, yeah, I had this thought. Let me live live stream it right now. Um, and a lot of it maybe just because people grew up with that uh, in their pocket. You know, still remember a time where. I, there was no internet so it's still a little bit different to me but uh i think it comes with the confidence thing so i've actually been and maybe you can t speak to this i've been doing some a few different things to kind of build because confidence because I, I really started to think about the confidence thing and i think it's really tied to discipline um maybe not so much anxiety or maybe not so much you know self-deprecation or putting yourself down or no one really no one really cares um that concept but uh I think it comes with discipline. So I, here recently, even since the um, the beginning of the year, and I have a guest coming on, I think the next one is a friend of mine. He's a nutritionist. He's about working out and, and fitness. And so I'm going to have a really good conversation about this with him. <clears throat> but I've tried to do a few things because I think I think a lot of times confidence comes down to discipline, at least for me. And I was like, well, I, I want to be better disciplined in my diet. And I'm, I'm not big about going to the gym and I'm not big about doing certain things um, because discipline is, is can be difficult for me sometimes. And, and I think I started to correlate that with the confidence. Maybe I have low confidence in, in my personality because I'm not just not disciplined or I don't know. It was just a theory. And so I started to do a few things um, to kind of help my discipline. So, and I'll share these with you. It's a bit personal, but this whole podcast has been personal. So who cares? Um, one of the things I do every morning, uh, and like I said, they're small because everyone Everyone kind of jumps off the bandwagon right at the new year, be like, oh, I need to be more disciplined. I'm getting up at 4.30 every morning. I'm going to earn that sunrise and I'm going to start eating healthy. And and those things are great. Uh, I, I don't work that way very well. I'm not good with jumping off, you know, the cliff, right? Head, you know, head right into something that is a big drastic change. I don't deal with change that well, obviously. Um, 
I take it in slow increments. So I was like, well, I just need to build a s like small little disciplines in my life and, and hold to those. And then as that happens, uh, it'll start to, you know, develop and, and move on from there. So one of the things I do every morning now is uh, before I go to work, I, I write my wife a note. And it's it's not like you an essay or anything like that. A lot of times it's just, hey, hope you have a great day. Love you. Um, stuff like that. Or maybe, hey, I, I fed the cats early. They were you know, it was something smaller. Uh, I got to pick up coffee on my way home. Text me if you need something you know, something, something, whatever. It's stuff like that. Just, I just, it doesn't have to be meaningful to anything crazy. It should be like a heart dash David or whatever. Um, I just wanted to make it a point that every morning I write my wife a note for her to see. Um, even, and I've told her this, I was like, if, if you don't read, it, it's not a big deal. You know, uh, what, whatever it is, it's a mess. It's, it's really for me to make sure that uh, it's a practice to keep my priorities in straight in the morning. Cause I'm not a morning person. Um, I'm just not, I've never been, uh, it's probably something I probably should, I'll work on it. We'll get there. We'll get there. Right now we're just writing notes. Um, but it was, it was something almost like, I want to prioritize my morning thinking about what's important. And sometimes it helps me plan my day. Like, Oh, I really do need to pick up coffee creamer on the way home. But it, it did want to, I kind of want to order orientate myself towards, uh, you know, thinking about my family before I go to work. Cause that's kind of the whole point of me going to work anyways to focus on my family and so i was like instead of worrying about well, what do i gotta do and what's today what's the trouble's gonna you know do i gotta stop get gas do i need to pick up you know materials or whatever now now my mornings are oh you gotta write that note and then to kind of think about it be like well what do i want you know what do i do i need to tell her anything important like an errand i'm running or or do i want to say something just sweet or something like that whatever um I think that's really important. That's, I mean, I was a long rant about just writing notes in the morning, but that's one thing I do. And I'm noticing it's building discipline. Even if I don't feel like I'm about to step out of the door and I have it, I'll go back and just rewrite one real quick. Um, one of the other things that I've, I've started doing, and the only reason I'm telling you guys this is because this is, I think it's actually tied to um, confidence. It's actually probably the reason why you're watching me on YouTube right now, or you're hearing about me doing YouTube. Um, one of the other things, I have a real bad habit of listening to podcasts. If that's a bad habit, I kind of think it's starting to get to be one because it's, it's people's voices in your head all day um, on top of your own, like that's healthy. And so one of the things I <clears throat> have started going back to is, is now uh, specifically on my drive home from work. I, I only listen to music um, and which is probably normal for most people. But for me, I was uh, anytime I'm listening and I rarely listen to music. And I was like, I really want to start to bring music in my life. And one of the reasons is this, because I wanted to be able to have, I used to, really think deeply when I used to drive a lot and I, before I knew about podcasts, it was just music and it would help me really think through things and, and evaluate things and kind of be intentional with, with how to problem solve and not just trying to problem solve with other people talking in the background and, and things like that. And like I said, it's probably not a big thing for you, but for me, not listening to music, um, I think it really scattered my brain. It kept me from not being able to focus and, uh, and, and, if in any case you're wondering, the music I listen to on normally is um, instrumental. It's almost like uh, soundtrack music with no words. It's just like, you know, piano is very soft. Most of the time it's very um, melodic, stuff like that. And it's just so it's it's not like Fred Durst, um, you know, screaming in, in the back. Whoever, no one knows who Fred Durst is. Um, but, you know, it's not it's not like a song that you're singing along to. It's just it's just background music to kind of um, center the mind or whatever it does. And I think I actually think it does a lot um that might be a podcast episode that i have coming up with a guest so i'll talk about it then but yeah that's that's a big discipline for me now and i've, I've noticed that it's coming through and so i've got a few others that i've added and i've incrementally added them you know once one new one every week and like i said they're not big they're just small things just like hey um do this or, or make sure you do this or you know um I kind of, I hate to pull it. It's kind of a Jordan Peterson thing. It's just like, make sure you clean your broom. I know a lot, everybody knows who Jordan Peterson is, but the, the analogy is, is sometimes doing the big things is actually just doing the small things, which I think he stole from Gandalf and Tolkien. Um, it's not always about the, the big heroic acts. Sometimes it's just the everyday man doing the everyday chore um, that make the difference in the good in the world. And so I, I just thought, you know, maybe this is encouraging for those. And this is kind of where I, I think, I think it comes down to, I don't know how many people deal with confidence and I, I don't know how many people struggle with it. And sometimes, sometimes I don't know if people knew that I did. Um, 
I don't I don't know if that was very well. Maybe my close friends, you know, but people in general, they like oh, baby, he, he does all this stuff all the time. He's always doing something. He's um, and like I said, I'm pretty confident in what I put my hands to and what I do. But just myself in general, I think I've always been a bit um, quick to not give myself any leeway and credit. Um, and I wanted to be encouraging because I don't know how many people deal with that. And and I think I'll. I'll, I'll mention this because the vanity, vanity thing, pride, pride itself always seems like a very arrogant thing. People are very prideful of who they are. They're very arrogant. They're very overly spoken and you know, the pride comes before the fall, but there's, there's a whole nother kind of pride. Um, and I think I've seen this in myself a little bit, but that the self chastising, the self deprecating thing is a form of pride. Um, and I think it's a form of pride because there is an aspect of in in not in not letting yourself feel okay or or feel um, I'm trying not to go super Christianese on all on everyone listening, but there is there is saying something when people go, hey, you're doing a great job, and and you know you're you're great at this podcasting thing. And the first thought of mine is like, well, maybe maybe not. It's kind of prideful for me to think of my opinion of myself is far more exceeding than your opinion of me. And that's when I say the pride thing comes in. If if you're constantly dealing with confidence issues and self-esteem or whatever, and you know, self always putting yourself down all the time. Again, it's coming from somebody who does it all the time. Um, sometimes you have to step back and go, how often do I dismiss people who are being genuine about talk, talking to me or, or, or complimenting me? How often do people say something and I just throw it to the wind like, well, you don't know me kind of a pride thing um and there's a whole world outside of who you are and sometimes sometimes you're not right about everything and that's when i say um, pride shows up in different aspects um because if if you only think your thoughts about yourself are the only true thoughts you're just putting yourself above everybody else it just doesn't look like what normal pride looks like and so there's my there's my sunday school lesson for the for the day, but I will say, um, if you do struggle with with confidence or with self esteem or with like, you know, I I don't know if I feel, you know, that great about myself all the time. Maybe I don't I don't know how much my personality, you know, bleeds through. Or what if what if I'm a boring person? If you think that, um, you're definitely not the only one. Um, you're definitely not the only one. I I hope I hope not. What if I'm the dude? What if I'm the only one? No, I know that's ridiculous, but. I don't think you're the only one. And so hopefully that's encouraging to you. You just listen to me rant for 30 minutes about confidence and stuff. And I think I've, I kind of jotted down some notes of things I wanted to go over. And I think I did. But again, like this is just practice. I actually, even as doing this and being kind of transparent with you, uh, again, I almost was like, this is not, this is not that interesting of an episode. Um, who cares? Maybe it's interesting to like one person and that's fine. And that's that's as good as as good as I can ask for. Um, but yeah, it, it's I'm feeling a lot more comfortable being in front of a camera and and actually being a little bit more transparent and 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 thinking on the cuff, um, off the cuff, on the cuff, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's fun. It's uh it's gonna get me used to doing really bad live streams in the future. <laughs> Maybe from the front seat of my truck while I'm doing 85 miles an hour down the highway. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Again, I still cannot believe people do that. Um, it blows my mind. But anyway, I hope you have a great week. I actually have, uh, I think I have two guests coming up this week. I don't know how I'm going to put them out there, but um, it's going to be a good time. If you want uh, to follow me on Rumble or uh, YouTube, it's youtube.com slash uh, or at slash at at civil pardon will. And uh and uh, on Rumble, I think it's the same thing. Slash at part. I didn't write those things down, which I should have, which I should have done. Oh, and guess what? I got to practice this too. So if you're uh, if you're watching on the YouTube things, let's uh, let's try something out. Um, I did a thing. Check it out. So now, if you really enjoy the podcast, you're like, man, he's sure is being honest. You can go support me by going to pardonwillmerch.com, and I uploaded recently. Up with the podcast uh, emblem on a bunch of cool stuff. You get t-shirts, you got 
hoodies, you got tank tops, you got baby onesies right there, uh, toddler shirts. Um, you can also go to, uh, I think I have a coffee cup. I don't think I went as far as making like cell phone cases. Um, I thought that'd be a little eccentric. Um, but yeah, you can do that. Or you can also just go, you know, uh, and search my other course if I can pull this up. That's not going to work. Uh, let's try. Let's just check out pillows real quick. I think I got some pillows on here. Yeah, I got three. I got a uh, Mandalorian. I got a uh, Chuck Norris and a Marvin, the Martian pillow, which I'm not really sure how that's going to, maybe you just really, I don't know. Actually, I kind of do like that Chuck Norris pillow. I don't think, I don't think my wife is going to be cool with it, but I might order that. Anyway, that was my little, uh, my little thing back to me. But yeah, if you want to support, go to pardonwillmerch.com or you can go to the Etsy slash shop slash pardonwill and buy some art. That's always a good way to support the podcast. And uh, um, But really, if you like it, subscribe, like. Uh, I won't even tell you to share it with your friends. I'm not even sure I'm there yet. Well, I mean, you can. I'm not going to not gonna be mad. But yeah, just do that. That's cool. Um, even I'm probably just going to continue doing it. Like I said, I'm getting used to it. Hopefully, this was a, a fun little conversation. Hopefully, it just kept you company while you were not listening to music like you should be and you know driving home listen to the podcast episode um and and maybe it's maybe it's just nice to have company uh, or share a thought or like a yeah i have confidence things too it's cool to hear somebody talk about that um but yeah that's that's it i just wanted to share my thoughts um get those out there i i kept alluding to the idea you know it's been a long time since i've i kept talking about doing video podcasts and never did and i've always kept it audio only um again a lot more work to this uh but it's a whole nother it's a whole nother trip now so uh moving up in the world and then okay i'll end it with this if something does happen and i go viral i'm probably going to shut it down I'm going straight back to audio getting no, out just playing with you guys no nah, um we'll see what happens sky's the limit maybe one day i'll start doing live streams and that might be a day coming soon um because as as i'm going i've got the momentum why not uh why not keep rocking it and keep going forward anyway love you guys uh hope you're having a great week uh got some episodes coming out um a lot of great guests i got them playing out for the rest of the month and then working on uh more guests for the for the further so um be rocking and rolling anyway you all have a wonderful time i will see you back next time bye